What's cool about this winch here is it is a Panther Series 2S winch. It's a 13,000 pound synthetic line winch and it comes with everything you need in the box to set this thing up. Everything you need and nothing that you don't. It has 85 foot synthetic winch line. Also the solenoid on top can be moved. We'll open this up here in a second and I'll show you all that. Now I did actually cut it open so I got these stickers out here to put on the table for you. Um, but what comes inside, I haven't opened it yet. I haven't, you're seeing real time with me what I'm seeing. So right off the bat, you'll have this opened up and you'll have right in here the uh, instruction manual and that's where these two stickers are. And we're gonna pull this off right on top. It's a piece of foam. And it looks like you have a hook. And you have a wireless remote. Or I'm sorry, this is the wired remote. And here is a cable. Looks like an actual negative cable. So we'll set that off to the side. And I'm going to grab these out. These are your bolts. And this is the, the loop for your actual um, your hook. But basically, these are actually supposed to be uh, Dacromet Dacromet, I think that's what it's called, Dacromet coated screws, and they are supposed to be superior for corrosion resistance. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of anti-seize on this when I go to install it here in a minute, um, but they are really high quality uh, grade eight bolts, which is very nice. Which obviously you'd want on a winch like this. Yeah, so you got your hook, and we have one of these cool little doodads that nobody ever uses. Oh man, so we even get a really cool hat. So I can get rid of the quad, or the tire rack hat and oh, throw this thing on. Check that out. We go ahead and put on our open road baseball cap. Right in the box, we also have a, uh, an aluminum fair lead right here. And I got all the little foam stuff everywhere. And we got the winch, which is right inside the box. We'll get that to in a second. Oh, look, we got remote control in out winch line, we got two remotes and a hardwired uh, cable, which is pretty much, I don't think anybody else even has that. Uh, I don't think any of the other companies have it. And inside the box, we have the actual winch itself, which actually let me get this out of the way first. Here is our solenoid box with all our wire connections. And then here we go. So I get this sucker out of here without making too much noise. Ugh. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There is what everybody's been waiting for, the winch itself. Look at that monster, 13,000 pounds of all sorts of good stuff. Oh, 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 oh. 13,000 pounds of 100% pulling strength. Check that out, guys. That is a, that's a beast. All right, everybody, here it is unboxed and on the table. So as you can really see, everything's pretty much laid out for you and it's already ready to go right out of the gate for you. Uh, everything's color coded like they normally are. Installation is gonna be an absolute breeze. But some of the features I wanna go over are, this is, again, the Panther 2S series, 13,000 pound synthetic rope winch. Say that three times fast. It is an IP67 rating, which if you don't know what that means, it means it's 100% waterproof. It has a 265 to one gear reduction, and it's an all steel, all metal planetary in there, uh, which will help the, the motor not bind, and it actually is a series wound motor, so the engine, or the, so the engine, so the motor won't get as hot, and it will uh, stay cooler on the long, hard pulls uh, as you're trying to get yourself or your buddy unstuck or whatever it may be you're trying to get out of the mud. Hey, maybe you're trying to pull a tree over. I don't know, but this winch will probably do it. I don't know. Don't try that at home. Speaking of motor, it's a six horsepower motor or 4.5 kilowatt, however you want to look at it. Uh, but it is a six horsepower motor, again, with a 13,000 pound pulling strength. The uh, remote control, supposedly, we can give this a test either in this video or in a future video. I got that little white styrofoam all over the place. That's the worst part of unboxing these things, uh, this type of thing. But anyway, they have a 50 foot radius. So around the winch itself, uh, basically you should have a 50 foot radius uh, to be able to control in and out of your actual winch, which that's pretty cool. Or if you wanna stay close and wanna or, or work from the cab with an actual hardwired uh, remote, they have that available as well. So, and again, two remotes. If you're like me, maybe you'll lose one and that way you have a spare. Awesome. And also speaking of the electronics, they have a three year warranty on the electrical components of this winch right here. So there are some of the quick uh, down and dirty features of this winch. Um, yeah, I say we go ahead and get ready to get put on the Jeep. What do you say? Let's get to it.
Alrighty, so we have the winch all wired up. I'm gonna save you all that. This is not an actual how to wire your winch. Reference the directions and the instructions for your winch. But basically everything is color coded, tied in, wired down to the bottom, down underneath right here. So now all we have to do is take her over to the Jeep and the mounting plate and get it and the fair lead all mounted up and wrestled onto the Jeep. So I'll put it on the front of the Jeep. There we go. Get some bolts in there and uh, get her bolted down. Check it out. Nice. But let's see if the winch actually works. So like I said, I got everything tied in, I got everything wired up, and uh, I'm gonna put it in free spool right now. We'll pull this out, free spool it out. Let's lock it back in place. Okay, got my remote. Turn it on, red light means on. I'm gonna run in. Must have done something right, let's run it out. Awesome, run it back in. Okay, and we'll turn the remote back off. And uh, there we go, what you think? So here's your remote uh, up close and personal. It is one of the remotes and you do also have a hardwired version that actually plugs in just like that. And that will run your winch as well so you have the option of the hard wire and you have the option of the remote itself so there you go what do you think guys and gals all right so i say we should take it outside and test it i might pull some i have some dead trees laying down out there we might pull some trees around a little bit just play around with uh, the winch to test it out all right let's get outside and uh pull some trees around buddy here we are um out here in the field we're gonna hook up some of these trees over right out of the camera shop we got the jeep out here in the field as you can see and uh, we got the winch all ready to roll. What we're gonna do is pull some of these trees here. Now they're not the biggest, but I mean on camera they don't look very big, but they are uh, they are pretty big pine trees. So we're gonna hook up to maybe this one and that one together, and we're gonna give them a tug and see if we can't get it to pull right back over there. So let's get uh, hooked up and uh, give her a shot. Okay. That is tripped right there. So we can get around this tree down here. Okay, this way. Okay. Let's see if it'll hold both of those. Earring. I'm starting here for now. Or shackle, what do you want to call it? Free spool. That's the other one line. Let's go hook up to the uh, chain over here. Alright. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to shackle up here. This chain. So. So we got the winch line out. Let's go ahead and make sure she's engaged. Okay. All right. Now, as you can see, I'm over here with the remote, and the winch is all the way back here, and we're starting to pull the tree. Be very careful of your winch lines. You do not want to be standing anywhere near them and have them snap, especially steel cables. The rope is one thing, it can fray and tear and do all sorts of weird things when the line is loaded. You definitely don't want to crawl over the line. A synthetic rope is much safer than steel line, but still, you'll be very cautious when you're doing a hard pull like this. So let's run it in a little bit more. Both moving back towards the Jeep. And I'm standing plenty out of the way with my remote right here. In and out, right out and in. And I'm still how far away from the Jeep and it's, the remote still works. Being very mindful of that chain and how everything chokes. Check it out. Okay, stop there. 
All right, I think we're gonna stop with that. All right, all wound in and ready for the next job. Dad's out here pushing some brush and he got the tractor down under the edge a little bit. And what better way to test out the old winch than to try to drag him up and out of there. So uh, why don't you say we get hooked up to him and see if we can pull that John Deere 5083E out of the uh, out of the ditch. Got the chain, free spool. Let's go hook up to that tractor. All right, he went to go get back in the tractor. We're gonna lock this thing in. There it goes, she's engaged. Let me get my remote out of my pocket. Get a little bit of tension on the line. He's gonna get in the tractor, put it in neutral. Doesn't look like it's too stuck, but she's down over the edge there. So, when he's ready, when he's ready, we're gonna give her a pull. Pulling him out. There we go. Again, it doesn't look bad, but that's a pretty steep drop off right there. I think we got him out. All right, there he goes. <laughs> 